Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing the extremal principle from Engel's problem solving strategies, example number 11 on chapter 3. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 10 minutes, ideally 25, but not more than 45 minutes. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you give it a go for the next 5 to 10 minutes. And now without further ado, let's begin. So we have this country called Sikinia, where every road is one way and every two pairs of cities are connected by exactly one of these roads that go in one direction or the other. And we must prove that there exists a city that can be reached from every city directly or with most one other city. So how do we do this? Well, I invite you, if you haven't paused already, you know, what is maybe Let's not think inductively, let's think about the extremal principle here. Like, what is sort of the thing that keeps increasing? So if you have a city that has a lot of things connected to it, a lot of other cities are connected to it, and then there are some which are not connected to it, which that city is connected to. What happens if a city from here is not connected to any one of these cities that are connected to this one? Well, if this one's not connected to that one, and among all of these that this city is connected to, none of them are connected to uh, this other city, then what does the city have? That's the question for you. Take a minute, three minutes, and try to figure it out. Well, here's the thing. If this city, say, city M, has some X cities that are connected to it, and then there are some cities, there's a city which is not connected directly to any of the cities in X. Otherwise, like we would be done. M is great, then yay. Then that means that every city from X goes to this other city called it N. So every one of them go to N. But because M and N are con M and N are connected, but N doesn't go to M, that means M goes to N. So now N has more cities that go directly to it than M does. So now with the half, there's a finite number of cities. A city can have at most, if there's N cities, a city can have at most N minus one cities that are connected to it. Take the cities which have the most number of connections to them. Let that city be called city A. Let it have K cities connected to it. And now, if there was a city outside of A, and outside of this set called this set C, outside of C, if there was a city that wasn't connected to any set, any uh, city in C, then that means that every city in C would be connected to B. So we would also have K cities connected to it, but because A is the maximal one, that means that K then must be connected to A. I mean, it's basically a contradiction. So with that, it means that if we take the city with the biggest number of connections going towards it, with some city, like the biggest number, how would I call these actually? Let me try to be precise. I would call these the city with the biggest number of, say, roads flowing towards them. Yeah, that, that's a way to put it. And that city then satisfies the problem statement. <laughs> and we're done with this. This solves our problem, really. Like, there's nothing else to be done here. And it's just another application of the extremal principle, which takes practice. Once you see it a couple of times, then you try to apply it to other problems, and that's how you actually learn this and get better. And as always, thanks for problem solving.